For more content like this, visit the Robotics Machine Learning Community through the link in the description. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Tosin Robotics. I'm Chantanu, and today we'll walk you through the complete pipeline for training your robot using the Letterbot framework. From setting up your environment to collecting episodes, training a policy, and evaluating it on the Aloha Solo. Let's get started. Letterbot is built entirely in Python, so the first step is to create a virtual environment. I recommend using Conda for this. If you don't have Conda installed, follow the instructions provided in the documentation below. Once Conda is installed, create and activate a virtual environment specifically for Lerbot. Then clone the Lerbot GitHub repository from Hugging Face. After cloning, let's build and install the Lerbot modules. Since Aloha uses Intel RealSense cameras and Dynamixel servos, we'll also need to install the dependencies for them using pip. Simply run the commands given in the documentation and you'll be all set. Next, we need to create a symbolic links for the arms. The steps are similar to the Enomotex pipeline and a detailed video is provided in the links in the description. For the cameras, open the Intel RealSense viewer and retrieve the camera serial numbers and configure them in your robot setup. Again, check out the detailed video for the step-by-step -step guide. Before we move further, download the necessary files for configuration, like the robot configuration file for the Aloha Solo, and place it in the configs.robot directory. The policy file, that's the act Aloha Solo real.yaml file for training, which goes into the config slash policy directory. The environment file, that's the Aloha Solo real.yaml, which belongs in the config slash environment folder. Once everything is said, let's go and test the robot setup using teleoperation. Use the control robot script in teleoperation mode and set the robot path as Aloha Solo YAML. Once everything works as expected and the robot runs smoothly, you should be good to go. Now let's record episodes for training. Run the control robot script in the record mode. Specify the robot path as Aloha Solo and set the parameters like the repository ID, warm up time, episode length, and reset time. For this tutorial, we'll record 20 episodes. Since we plan to publish this dataset on Hugging Face, ensure your Hugging Face login and access token are configured. For help with this, check out the Hugging Face introduction video linked below. Once the episodes are recorded, let's visualize them using the Visualize Dataset script. Make sure the repository ID matches the one used during dataset collection. This tool lets you inspect the episodes and ensure the data is clean before moving to training. Now let's explore the policy and environment files. The policy file is already configured for the right arm setup. In case you are using a left arm setup, make sure to uncomment the left wrist camera lines and comment out the right wrist camera lines. The environment files specify the FPS, state dimensions, and action dimensions. Since this is a single arm setup, the dimensions are half the size of the Aloha stationary setup. To start training, run the train.py script, provide the dataset repository ID, policy, and environment configurations. The outputs will be stored in the hydra.run.dir directory and the job name will help you identify your session. Since we are using a GPU, set the device to CUDA for faster training. You can also use Google Colab if you don't have access to a powerful GPU locally. We have covered this in a different video, which you can find linked in the description. Finally, let's evaluate the trained model. Run the control robot script in the record mode and pass the outputs of the pre-trained model. This will allow the robot to autonomously perform the task it was trained for. And that's it. You have learned how to use the Lerbot framework for end-to-end -end imitation learning on the Aloha Solo. From setup to data collection, training and evaluation. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more robotics content. For more content like this, visit the Robotics Machine Learning Community through the link in the description. Trust in Robotics, helping innovators innovate.